<laughs> and welcome back on this Tuesday morning. Let's quickly go over that forecast. A lot of what you saw yesterday, you're going to see again today. That means rain in the forecast. About 67 degrees out there already this morning. High temperatures uh, today around 83, 68 for your low, and rain again tomorrow. Actually, there's a chance of rain almost daily, so if you have outdoor activities to plan, you may want to move those inside. Uh, uh, might be just like Wiley. All right, coming up to Big uh, Barry, you're kind of the historian on the uh, Limestone County Sports Hall of Fame. When did it start? Back in 2002, Jamie, uh, Sonny Turner, who was the sports editor uh -huh. at the News Courier at the time, had called me and he said, Barry, we need to do something. He said, No, we got Morgan, you got Lauderdale, you got Lawrence, uh, Madison, they all have these sports hall of fame. And uh, we need to do something to honor some of our athletes and uh, people who supported sports in this county. So I called uh, John Wayne King and um, Judge Mike Davis, and uh, we sort of started talking, and we formed uh, the Sports Hall of Fame, and I think our first induction class was in 2003. Is Mike Davis in the Sports Hall of Fame? No, he's on the board. Well, if anybody needs to be really? in there, it's Judge Davis, because he is. Did he coach you when you were at Armour, Jeff? No, he, he was actually the girls' coach. Girls his, coach. His, most of his coaching was done coaching the girls' basketball team at Armour. Now, he did cross over and coach boys for a couple years, well, I thought but primarily he girls. Mark Yarborough, but did he coach basketball? He yet? made that was about yeah. the time he did. I know okay. one or two years stint as the boys' coach, but the primarily girls' coach. I had some really good girls' teams right. there. Jeff Hodges, First National mm -hmm. Bank, right across the street from us. What are you on the board? I am, yes. Yeah. So you, how do y'all select them? Because I know I've never been selected up from anything over here. But I, <laughs> but somebody has to, how's that work? Barry, what's the deal? You have to be nominated. And the, uh, <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, as far as the criteria, uh, Jeff, you can help me out here if I miss anything. Uh, as a player, you have to be 35 years or older. Well, retired, okay, so far I'm good. Retired yeah. five years from, from competition. Uh, as a coach, you have to be 35 years old and five years removed from the coaching. Um, is there anything? I think that's about it, isn't it? Now, there, we have a, a formal nomination yeah. form that we run in the paper. It's in our program, and we will, you know, we really that's one thing that we do need, and if, and if people are out there watching, uh, not aware of the Limestone County Sports Hall of Fame, they are a lot of tremendous athletes in this county uh, who have not been nominated. Yeah. And the only way that we can, to do it. can do it is to get them nominated. So really the biggest help we need in the future going forward is getting these people nominated and uh, from all the schools. At what, time, at what time of the year does that come out? When should people look for that? Uh, early part of the year. Okay. Uh, well, late in the year, December, January, February is okay. when we need it. We take nominations anytime. Oh, okay. Uh, and, and, and keep a master list. Once you're on the nomination list, you're always nominated every year. Okay. How many do y'all choose? Is it the same amount every year, six or eight? Uh, typically, that's a typical class. Last year was our 10th anniversary, so we did something a little different. We had uh, at least one uh, athlete coach from every county city school last year. It was a big class, but that was uh, an anomaly. Usually, it's six to eight people. So it's not. I know last year y'all did it a little different because it was 10 years, but you don't have to have one from every school every year. No. no. Now, you know story on Hugo now. Frank graduated with Hugo, and on the night of graduation, Hugo did not go. Now, y'all may want to so tell him he can't get in because of this. He did not go to graduate because he went frog gigging, didn't he, Frank? Possum hunting. Possum hunting. See, so he didn't even take graduation. But that was a sport back then, so that may qualify him even more so. Yeah, that's good, yeah. That's good. Hugo made uh, athletes, yeah. <laughs> Made her a special gift too for her second birthday today and brought it by there. So how does you how does the guy who everybody knows and loves Hugo Bates, how's he get in? Well one of the categories is support personnel. Oh, okay. You know, there are you know, there are a lot of people in this county right. who've supported high school sports who maybe not we're not an athlete. Hugo Bates being a prime example. And there's others. Mm -hmm. Rip Swanner uh, from Tanner, Boss Hill from Elkmont. Correct. They kind of fall in that same category. Okay. That's right. Okay. I got you. So that's well, I know we were there a couple years ago when our dear friend Johnny Bailey was yeah. in. And you go back and you, uh, it's like Jimmy Woodruff told me down on the square one day for the Grease Festival. We've been there, I think it was about uh, last year, right when Johnny passed away, the Grease Festival that weekend. And he said, you've got to go look at their stats. And he said, they'll never be duplicated. Well, they were And after I started researching it to do the eulogy with all the guy like Stump Haney and all of them giving me information, it was phenomenal, Jeff, the that numbers. Was, that was a great team. Great team. 
Yeah. Of course, I remember Coach mm -hmm. Cooper used to whip up on New Hope all the time when I played it. <laughs> See, I'll never get nominated uh -huh. to that. Madison County Sports Hall of Fame, not with my antics that I always had over there. But you have to my hold on to will. the ball. <laughs> my little brother will. All right, so this year, who all's going in this year, Barry? Uh, David Hogan, um, Larry Keenum, um, Jimmy Elmore, James Nolan, um, who am I else? Uh, uh, David Hogan, uh, uh, Carol Daniel, uh, Larry Keenum, uh, Elmore, uh, Hugo, Billy Owens is going in. Oh, Billy's getting in this year? Billy Owens is going in uh, very well. Uh, Paul Parker. Deserved there, Paul Parker and James Nolan. Mm -hmm. okay. James Nolan was a, a running back for the Trinity School here. Okay. Yeah. Well, Billy, you know, Billy was that when uh, our friend uh, Keith Davis passed away. Billy was a Paul Bear that day over there in that nice 17 degree weather. Uh, <laughs> but Billy just always such a smiley, happy yeah. man. <laughs> Billy was a fantastic basketball coach, and of course has run the nice. Limestone County basketball tournament for many years. He could have went in in almost any category. Yeah, he played basketball at Athens State, and I think yeah. that's where his connection with Keith was. Yeah, it was, and they they worked together too over at Joe Wheeler and mm -hmm. uh, you know stuff like they even that. They played tennis. So this thing has gotten this black tie. Tickets available. We still have a few tickets available. So it's we almost do. sold out. Uh, it is. I talked to Martha Joe yesterday. We had planned for about 250 people, and I think we're really, really close. Yep. Wow, good. Martha Joe Leonard. Martha Joe Leonard. <laughs> Her little boy, Freddie, is my Sunday school teacher. I understand. Uh, no Freddie well. <laughs> <laughs> I hear he's changed a lot. <laughs> I, that's what I hear, too. I, I've only got to know Freddie the last several years. Well, I'll tell you what. Nice he puts guys. on a... a <laughs> a great class, I know that. But if, I, if somebody as dumb as I am can understand what's going on in there, he does. Anything else we need to know about now? I know Morgan County's got theirs this weekend too. Here's a guy on the Decatur Day's been doing a thing all week. Sports Hall of Fame. Charles Maples here shows him dribbling the basketball. They well, he was with Priceful when they won two state championships back in the I think '61 and uh, maybe late '50s or early '60s there. So a lot of people like that getting it. Now, will y'all feature? What's the once they get in there, they get up and make a speech, right? We 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 induct them and tell their credentials and and introduce them, and they'll come up and make a brief acceptance speech, and then they're forever more enshrined into the Limestone County Hall of Fame. If you're at the Limestone County Event Center out front, when you walk in the door on the left, there's pictures of all the classes on the wall there. So eventually, you'll get in. Probably. I, uh, I, I, I sincerely doubt it. I was uh, my well, buck fifty batting average at Ardmore probably wasn't good enough to get me to get me in the sports. Yeah, but you ball. announce the ball games up there. Well, I do that. I don't. I don't think that's. All right, let's talk about your son Lee. He's uh, is he through golfing for the year now? Oh, no. I mean, it, no. he's graduated though. He graduated. When did he start at UAB? Uh, middle of August. He actually goes to orientation tomorrow. Uh -huh. So, but. Uh, uh, Somewhere mid-August, he'll show up down there, but he's got a summer full of golf. He just came back from the State Am and leaves next week for the Greystone Invitational in Birmingham. Now, do you go with him a lot of these times? I did get the caddy for him. It's, he <laughs> lets me caddy for him at the State Am, so I might not get to caddy for him again. We pulled the wrong club a couple times and hurt us, so uh -oh. I may be fired. So I, uh -oh. uh, well, he raised a great kid there, and he, yeah, I know he'll be, he'll be in the Hall of Fame one of these days. All right, Barry, anything else we need to know about the Hall yeah, of Fame? Yeah, speaking of the golf, uh, Jamie, we have our annual golf tournament this Friday at 1 o'clock at, at Southern Gales, and that's our big fundraiser. Uh, you know, we uh, help fund two scholarships for um, local high school students, and uh, we have plenty of spots available. It's the 1 o'clock tea time. Uh, we have the lunch at 11. We encourage folks to come out there. We have past inductees that come out. and. It's a real good time, and uh, if anybody wants to play in it, uh, they can contact Jeff or myself, okay. and we'd be glad to have them. And that's one of the things, Jamie, that we didn't talk about, but that's something that we're proud. Of. We're real proud of as a sports hall of fame board. <clears throat> We've given over thirty thousand dollars away in scholarships to student athletes in oh, Athens and Limestone nice. County. <clears throat> We've got two uh, very quality recipients this year, so uh, right. that's something that we do that we're proud of. And again, as Barry said, the golf tournament helps us fund that. Do y'all work on this thing year round, basically getting all this yes. organized? Barry? Board meets year round. Yes, once a month year round. Who all's on the board? Barry and I. There's John Wayne King and John Whit and Jackie Greenhall and Martha Joe Leonard, Greg Young, uh, Jimmy Gill, Ernest Campbell, um, Barry Hamilton, Barry Hamilton, Judge Davis. Judge Mike Davis, 
I'm, I'm missing one more. James Lucas. Okay. Now, what's the Whit guy's name again? John Whit. Now, is that the Whit family that's all been in education it forever? Is. It is. The day, and I may have told you this yet, the day of John's funeral, you know, and I do my thing if they talk about New Hope, we got beat, all this. Walking across the cemetery, they get ready to bury John. This guy hollers out, Jamie, the score that day, this was 1969. <laughs> the score was 38 to 14. Uh, we beat y'all four touchdowns. So and so was your quarterback. That would have been John. I'm Who is this guy? <laughs> Great memory. I was in the game. I don't remember nothing. That's how we got stalled. But he knew every detail. He's when, uh, quite a historian. Yeah, when uh, I don't know if you know uh, Johnny Black. You know yeah. Johnny. Yeah. When Johnny uh, Johnny was on the board at one time, and him and John, uh, they would sit in on board meetings, and they they would just have everyone's attention, talking about things that happened in the 40s and 50s in Limestone County. <laughs> Jeff would tell you, I mean, to a T. Uh, they just know everything. I mean, I was just floored. Oh, and he's just hollering it out, you know. This is all right. Anything else? We need, anything we need to know about banking? Y'all still loaning money for now? We are bank? still loaning money. Need to loan money. So. <laughs> It's an integral part of what we do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> keep that thought in mind tomorrow when I'm over there for the big meeting. Yes, uh, keep you. that thought. Uh, good to see you. Now, do you remember anything else about me speaking to your class in 1981? You had everyone's attention. <laughs> As I usually do. Well, thanks for remembering me. Good luck this weekend. Heaven right. said to you guys hello. She'll be there. Good. Yeah. All right, we're going to take a break. I don't know what we're going to do next with these kids. Some we're going to talk here their overnight. Winners. We'll talk to them in just a moment. Y'all hang on. Local and lovely.